Good evening, fellow gardeners. Well, we've come out to visit with uh, Billy Pinnock and Tom Hargis. Harless, and uh, we're out here at Sterling, Oklahoma. And Billy's been, Billy's been nice to, enough to show us around here, and we want to show what he's doing here. This is a simple system for you at home to grow your greens in. Uh, we're going to show you a little simple system for the ones at the homeowners, and we're going to show you a little more uh, complicated or bigger system for the uh, commercial growers. So anyway, we're out here uh, uh, sh showing, Billy, I want you to show me what your greens look like. Now this is just growing in water straight, just, is that right? Just in the, the cracky hydroponic system. It, yeah. it's, in, it's in water with a little fertilizer in it. And I might mention that you can go to MHP Gardener and you can see all this system. Another man has done also in boxes, small boxes. So, and it also tells you on how to use the fertilizer. So. Uh, you can go on out when you get through watching us, MHP Gardener, okay? Billy, if you will, let's, you and Tom pick those up and let's see what each one of them looks like. Just pick the plant up. Now this is, uh, Tom, what have you got there? Got the Swiss chard. chard, okay. Look at, the, look at the roots going all the way to the bottom of that bucket. Okay, he's got a Swiss chard and uh, you can lay that over there somewhere. And Billy, what have you got? Chinese cabbage. Chinese cabbage. Don't you look at this, Ch Napa cabbage, look here. Isn't that pretty white roots in there? And Tom's got a bok choy. bok choy, and look at there. Isn't that pretty? Now, I want you to know, Judy and I had some of this at lunch today, and it's wonderful. So we got a video coming out telling you how to cook that. Anyway, I want you to look how pretty that is. So easy to do, just water and a little fertilizer. Okay, uh, Billy, what did you do here now to make this system? If you'll explain to us what you did. You took an empty bucket like this, right? I just took an empty 30-gallon tub. Okay. Got it completely clean. Mm -hmm. Sterilized it, basically. Mm -hmm. These are 30-gallon tubs. Okay. All right. We just we filled it within a half inch of the top of water. Okay. We took one-inch sheets of styrofoam, cut them approximately two foot square. You can cut as many holes in here. Mm -hmm. You can do two... I think this one's got nine in it. You could probably do 12, maybe, oh, depending upon what you want right, to grow Right, correct, with. yes. We just take that, put it down on top of our bucket. We put two screws in the edges. We add our nutrients to it. Okay. Stir the nutrients up. We put our transplants in these little, these little net pots. The little net up. pots. Just place the net pot in the styrofoam. Your water, you'll have about a quarter of an inch of air space between the bottom of this mm -hmm. and the water. Okay. You can just, you can plant it mm -hmm. and simply walk off and leave it. Okay. There's no, you know, we've, we've had no weeds, you know, uh, the, the fertilizer and everything. It was just amazing to me that we could mm -hmm. actually do it that way. Tom, would you like to get a spinach and bring over and let them see what you've got started over there on the other table? Then we'll go over a little bit, but if you'll bring a spinach and show us. This is, see that's one of those little net pots that Tom's got in his hand. Yeah. He's put it in a ball of cotton. cotton. Uh, that was probably a foam there. He since went from foam to cotton, but anyway, he just put that down in there and let it sit in there and the roots will come out of the bottom of it, touching that water, and they will go and drink that water completely up, if it, whatever it takes. Yep, just put it in there and make sure you got it sealed down. You should have about a quarter of an inch of air gap. You're good to go. Now see, isn't that simple? We take an empty bucket or a tub of some kind, cut you a piece of star foam. This is two by two, so you can get uh, eight of them out of a sheet of four by eight star foam in. Mm -hmm. Cut it two by two and set it on top. You, dr you drill your holes in there to figure out where they spaced like you want. If you're gonna grow, let me tell you, if you're gonna grow spinach or some leaf lettuce, or uh, the romaine lettuce, you can probably put about uh, up to 10 on there. Now he's got nine here. I wouldn't want to go much closer. Now if you're gonna grow something like his Chinese cabbage, you're gonna have to spread those out. We can only put about four Chinese cabbage yeah, in Chinese there, right? Chinese cabbage or, or yeah. butterhead lettuce. Yes, or butterhead, the one that gets, 
I mean, these lettuce and these Chinese cabbage are a foot across. But anyway, I just want you to see how simple this was. Um, Billy, can you tell me the ratio for that fertilizer right off the top, or you need to, it's uh, so many grams? It's so many grams per five gallons of water. Okay. Uh, I'll tell you what, if you go on MHP Gardener, he has it on a board there for you, and just go look at that, and if you have any problems, you can call me on the phone, and we will get it, but it's on MHP Gardener, yeah, okay? That's where I got it. Yeah, he lost. went to MHP Gardener and got it too, so we got to give Bobby some credit on that MHP Gardener. He's the one that showed us how to do it, so it's nothing that we have done or said. We just followed what he did, and that's all we're asking you to do is follow what uh, Tom and Billy has done here and grow you some greens of your own. Okay, we've moved over here now to this bed that's, uh, Billy, did you tell me this is four foot wide and eight foot long? Yes, sir. And now if you'll notice, he's drilled holes in this, 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 this star foam is still some of that one inch thick. And I'm gonna recommend you go into the lumber yard and get that blue foam, or you can get the white foam with the star foam on, on, with a, a foil on one side. Uh, just something like that that's a pretty good foam. And you're going to cut these holes every six inch spacings on this sheet if you wanted to grow small greens. If you want to grow the big Chinese uh, cabbage or something that gets big like that, you're going to go 12 inch spacings. We'll show you that on down the other end. But you can see now as they're holding this up, he's made this box. Tom and Billy have made this box out of two by sixes. And they built a box that's going to be overall four, 48 inches wide. 96 inches long and then he, he nailed that plywood on the bottom of it and then he put, lined that with plastic come over the edge and screwed a little one by two to it and this is going to make him a lip where he can drop this foam right down in there and seal off all the light because you want it dark under there just like in that right there you want it dark so that you won't get any algae in your water yeah and if you've got if you pull out some plugs or something we borrowed that one a while ago but you just got one in every one of them where it seals out the light pretty well. And this makes a simple way to do this. This is gonna, you're gonna see Bobby's that looks like this right here, except his is only, it's four foot long, but it's 32 inches wide. And uh, Bobby's gonna show you how to grow 12 plants in that. So uh, anyway, we thank you for watching. Tom, you got anything, or Billy, you got anything else to mention to this? No, oh yes, I want to show you, if you will, um, if y'all will pull that plastic back, we want to show you how they insulated it. Uh, let's see what we can do right here. Let's, all right, we turn this back over. All right, what he did now on his table, he turned some pots upside down, laid another sheet of foam on there, and put his plastic over it, and that give him another eight or 10 degrees warmer, maybe more than that with that foam up there, the protection, because it was gonna get down in the what 20s here the other night mid -20s, so and we didn't want them to hurt these little tiny plants so that's what he did he put that foam up there you can leave it on a couple three days during the cold weather and then take it off and i was also suggesting another thing we could do we could put a pipe here and a pipe over there lay your plastic over it and it could go and get sunlight but this is a better insulation if it's going to get real cold on you so we just wanted to see you some ideas that you can do to grow this hydroponic food. He's got water in there with a little bit of fertilizer in there, same ratio we're gonna use in the tubs. Here's another little uh, growing bed that Billy and Tom have made. <clears throat> you can see this is one of those 275 gallon totes that uh, they've taken the plastic liner out of it. And all you do is take the three uh, bars that's over the top of it that holds it in, take those screws loose, Take the plastic tote out of it, and is this turned upside down? No, it's just the way it goes. And so it, it doesn't have a pallet on it. Most of them have a pallet on them. And then you take this tote, and you put these, you put these three bars back in there on the next bars down. Here's your three bars that's gonna hold this up. You set the t plastic tote in there, and cut this off with a Sawzall, and that makes you a growing bed up here that you can work right up here at the standing up we'll show you here some onions they just planted this morning tom been busy all morning planting onions and so we'll show you over here a little bit 
uh, what he's done, they've put potting soil in here. And uh, Billy, I assume you've drilled some holes in the bottom of this for aeration. He's saying yes. Uh, you left drill a few drain holes, just one in each corner, or three or four more, or whatever. And put your potting soil in there. And it doesn't make any difference if you've got it three or four inches thick or if you've got it to six inches thick. It just, the more you put in it, the more it costs you for the potting soil. This is, uh, look like about half compost and half potting soil. And you can see they've planted their onions in there. So we'll, we'll try to get you some more video on this back whenever the, in, the, in the spring when these onions get ready. Because you see they'll put them in there about every three inches. And they'll come in and pull the biggest ones out as they get bigger for green onions. And then grow the rest of them on until maturity. And we hope to see some three and four inch onions come out of these tubs. But we'll get you a video on that when they get ready. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that. And I might mention... If some of you is questioned about what size holes uh, they drilled in that foam, that's a two inch hole in the foam to put the little pot in. Now, if you order some other kind of pot uh, that's different than that, you'd have to drive a different size hole. Now, instead of buying those little plastic pots, if you want to, you can also, uh, like into this, you can also buy those little Dixie cups that they use in the restaurant, in the bathrooms and so forth. Or you can buy the little cups that these uh, uh, fast, chain, fast chain stores or the food stores use for their little sauces and all. You can buy them online. They're about this size and buy them a lot cheaper than you can these. These things cost 10 to 12 cents a piece or maybe more. And you can buy those little Dixie cups, punch you about three or four holes in the bottom of it, set it in there and put your cotton in there, put your lettuce seed in there and sprout it and you're ready to go. Okay, we just want you to see about this right here. So if you like this video, uh, why don't you punch the button, ring the bell, and subscribe, and we'll make you some more videos like this. And Billy and Tom, we want to thank you for inviting us out to see this, and uh, we will see you on the next video.